Welcome back everybody to another video here with Kyle Chris and today we have uh, we're starting to go over the uh, set 19 uh, reveals already this is very quick we, we just finished with anniversary stuff and they just started pumping out um, uh, the new set I think we're uh, we're about two days behind right now but we're gonna go through and just do every archetype individually uh, and then as you guys know we go through every, we go through every archetype and then we make a uh, like a deck breakdown video kind of going over the archetype just to give you guys sort of a uh, kind of a, a good solid base of what you can go off of for a list so make sure you guys like and subscribe as always um if you guys want to support you can like not you can, you can hit all the notification buttons or the notification button that's on there um also um as the starting of this video i do have a um slight affiliate um um partnership with whatnot uh, which is pretty cool so um down below there will be a link um i may put it on the screen if i can find a cool way of doing of uh, doing that but if not there will be a link in the uh, description if you guys want to sign up for whatnot so using my link um you guys do get a 15 dollars credit i think it maybe takes an hour or so for it to kick in i haven't actually figured it out yet it's been very it's, it's very very new to me but you guys will get a credit, so the first thing you buy actually will support me directly, and all that money actually goes uh, is going to end up going towards um, either equipment for the stream that I'm going to end up being a part of uh, for the the whatnot stream team, or um, some giveaways, different things like that uh, to help kind of give back to the community, or we'll just or also just you know just put out better content for you guys. So please check that out down below. That is really really cool. I'm very excited about that. Thank you guys for. Uh, for the affiliate link so uh we'll stop talking about all that stuff we're gonna go right here into the leader which we have sun goku vegeta and trunks um trio de saiyans essentially right uh so auto when this card attacks you draw and then when your life is at four or less or you have two or more energy and a uh, sun goku vegeta or trunks future card all red with the where with the uh, x evolved skill in play you may draw one restand one and then strike down the six so i believe this says um, you need to have one of these guys. So you have to have two energy and one of these X evolved targets in play in order to awaken. So essentially you're going to be awakening turn two more likely. And then you go down to six. All right. This side, we have the ultimate team. Uh, this, this, uh, this leader art is pretty fire. Um, I'm super saying Goku, Vegeta and Trunks auto discard one sand from your hand. When this card attacks, you draw two. So it kind of sucks. You have to actually discard first. Um, that that's that's a little bad uh you you would rather have the discard afterwards but actually i mean if you have three or more mo uh, mono red energy play up to one goku fujita or trunks future all red with energy cost of one from your drop of the skills gate over the turn and rest one at the end of the turn place that card in the drop area not sure why you want to put in the drop area but we will find out i am sure and we have the um the z awaken so super saiyan sun goku united onslaught double strike 15k z awaken for one when your life is at three or less and you have a new and you place up the three z energy under yours uh, under your leader okay this card attacks for each non-leader card under this card this card gets ten thousand power for the battle whoa all right so i wonder if there's a way to add more cards under your leader that would be cool to know but if not uh still being a 45k double strike leader is pretty good for free um auto place all non-leader cards from under this card in their owner's drop area at the end of your turn choose all of your opponent's battle cards they get minus 10k power for each card placed in drop area by the skill and remove this card from the game that is really good so you have a 45k swing as well as a, a, a maximum of a 45k swing base mixed in with a 30k minus to the board um for one energy it's pretty good pretty good i love giving red broken stuff don't don't they all right we have super saiyan sun goku spirit bomb absorbed 30k triple strike barrier activate main for three if your leader is a red saiyan and you choose five uh sun Gohan, vegeta trunks piccolo and or krillins all all red in your drop plays play this card from your hand plays the chosen cards with the skill under it that's cool. Activate battle. Place five cards from this card from the uh, under this card in the owner's drop. This card gets five k power for for the turn. Choose all your opponent's battle cards and get minus twenty k for the turn. And at the end of the turn, place this card in the owner's drop. Play up to one Sun Goku with energy cost of one from your drop. A red Sun Goku. Okay. 
Interesting, interesting. So this is a 30k barrier triple strike, no deflect. So take that as you will. A little, you know, no deflect kind of sucks. Super Saiyan, uh, Goku Fujita Trunks, triple combination, uh, four drop 20k. Actually, main, choose one red Saiyan in your battle area, place this card from your hand, and place this chosen card under it. That's pretty cool. Auto, place one card from this, under this card in the drop. When this card attacks, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 30k. Ooh. This is kind of cool. So this is a one drop 20k that negs something by 20. 30. 30, sorry. Um, you could play multiple of these in the same turn. You can't use the auto multiple times but you can still play multiple of them it's pretty cool it's a very very cool effect super saiyan fujita evolved ex uh offensive i'm sure i'm assuming these are the three yes yeah, so these are the three evolved offensive cards so they all have the same x evolve so they all x evolve for one red this card is played by an x evolve draw once which is card active mode Okay, they all have that too. So then we have this guy's a 19k, this guy's a 19k with blocker, this guy is a 19k. Okay. This card attacks, place it place in the owner's drop at the end of the turn. When this card is placed in drop area by a skill, add up to one Sun Goku or Trunks. Uh both red with any cost of three and X evolve from your drop to your hand. Okay, so this card allows you to grab back. Um that's cool. So this card allows you to grab back either one of your Goku or, or your trunks. So that's that's pretty cool. Um I guess what's really interesting is that you can actually end up using um, like one of them for like Z energy and then use this to grab it back. Does the leader play from, okay, so the leader does play from the drop. So you can play the one drop from the drop. Uh, actually, I mean, limit one if you have a Goku, if you have a Goku or Trunks, both red with Intercost of three, uh, an X Evolve and play, play this card from your hand. Okay, so you can play this guy for one, uh, just by himself. That's, that's pretty sweet. Uh, Okay, so we have um, this guy, um, let's card attacks, choose when your opponent's battle cards minus by 15k. And then this guy you can play for, for one. So okay, I'm assuming they all have that. And then Trunks, um, he restands. Okay, so he's a, he's a 19k who can restand himself. He's a 15, he's a 19k who removes something 15k or less. And then he's a 19k who grabs you a card back. So he essentially draws you a card on play and when he attacks, essentially because you're gonna you're end up getting a card back from the drop here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we have, oh wait, so we have his new Z battle card, Sun Goku, so not Sun Goku, Sun Gohan at the ready. This is a cool form of uh, Gohan. This, uh, this like weird in between teen and childhood years. One drop, uh, one Z energy for power blocker. Your, uh, your red Saiyan's energy cost of three in evolve gain blocker. At the end of your at the end of your turn, choose one of your red saints that evolves, switch to active mode, activate main. If your leader is a, if your leader is this leader, during your opponent's next turn, when when one of your red saint cards and it costs a three and evolve is placed in your drop area, add it to your unity from your drop. This is weird. During your opponent's next turn. So you just activate this, right? So you just activate, you just activate main, and then at the end of the turn, uh, and then at any point during your opponent's turn, if that happens, you, um, okay. So essentially, you use Gohan, you activate main, and then anytime a three drop dies or leaves the battle area during your opponent's turn, the first one, you add the evolve target to your Z energy. It's pretty cool. I think I read that right. Interesting. Okay. And then I think we have the other cards here. We have Piccolo. It's a 20k blocker. This card gets 10k power during your turn. And it gains blocker during your opponent's turn. Minus 10k during your turn. And then gains barrier during your opponent's turn. So it's a 10k on your turn. And then it becomes a 20k. That seems odd. Limit 1. If your leader is a red... Uh, a red if this this leader and your opponent have two more energy. And then when a red saiyan is placed in the drop. Um, when you place a red saiyan. 
With every card from three in X of all from your battle area to your drop, put this card from your hand. This card activates blocker, switch it to active mode at the end of the turn. Place it in its owner's drop. Mm, this card's not very good. At least, at least like to service value, it's kind of not very good. Krillin at the ready. Auto. Um, if it's your opponent's turn, when your opponent plays a battle card with 15k power or more, look up to the top five cards from your deck, add up to one red salmon. Okay. This is a very interesting card. <laughs> this is very strange. So like it's a it's a way for you to draw. So it doesn't have any defense. But if your opponent plays something, you could draw a card. That's so weird. Um This card's gonna have to see some experimentation. This card could be really, really nuts. I just can't figure out how yet. It's a very cool card. We have Skillless. Oh, and now we have the one drop. So uh, this is Search's top five for a four or less. And um, if you have a, oh, okay. So if you have the three drop in play, you can play this for free in rest mode. Okay. Um, when this card is played, add up to one. Okay, so this guy adds. Okay, so they kind of do the same thing. So this guy adds um, any of the three or lesses from the drop back to hand when it's played. So Fujita seems to be the most important one because the three drop Fujita grads back. The three drops are. Um, yeah, so three the the Fujita grabs them back from the drop. This one also grabs them back from the drop. And then Trunks is just a hard draw. Also, all of these can be played from your hand for free if you have another guy, if you have a three drop in play of the opposing two. Interesting. And then we have Spear Bomb Unleashed. If, uh, if it reads, if this, uh, so okay, so when you're Z Awoken, just when you read uh, Sun Goku Z Battle Cards and it gets 30k power and crit for the turn. Um. Yeah, th thankfully this is not an activate battle because that would be crazy. Two energy for 30k on top of the 45k you're already going to have. This archetype looks very cool. Very, very cool. Um, uh, I, I, I'm i going to have fun building this deck. I think it's, I mean, realistically, I think this deck just kind of builds itself. You're probably playing four, three or four of every single one of the, the trios and uh, then throwing some tech stuff in there. But it looks really cool. It's a very cool concept. Um... Nothing, nothing has crazy defense, so none of this stuff has deflect, double strike, or anything else like that. So that's kind of sus. Uh, so we'll have to actually have to look at what the, because uh, I'm sure they're gonna show up some uh, some Z battle cards, some just maybe maybe just good red Z battle cards maybe, and then we'll see if we end up getting anything that's pretty powerful. So.